Hi. Today, I'd like to do my talk about current events in the silver world. Okay. So, recently, I did a talk talking about the sad demise of Reed and Barton, and that there was an auction being held, and that Lifetime Brands was, at that point, the high bidder. Okay. So, things have progressed. The auction is over, and surprisingly, the Lennox company bought Reed and Barton. So, in the beginning, Lifetime Brands bid $15 million. Lennox bid it up, and in the end, bought it for $22 million. So, I think it's a positive thing for the silver business in America to have competition between Lennox and Lifetime Brands. It's quite surprising because just eight or ten years ago, Lennox owned Gorham, and Gorham was comprised of... So, just a few years ago, Lennox owned Gorham, which was comprised of Kirk, Steef, Durgan, Whiting, among other things. And they sold it very inexpensively to Lifetime Brands. And um, so here they had really a terrific group of silver companies that they owned. They sold them off for very little, and now they're paying a premium price for Reed and Barton. I don't understand it. They also tried moving the Gorham operation to their China making plant, and that was a disaster because the, the functioning of the presses making the silver was breaking the China up there. So maybe they figured out some new way of doing it, but I am very surprised that Lennox is going into sterling. Okay, now I am also happy that the Reed and Barton chest business probably will continue. So, I was afraid with Wallace owning a chess business and buying the Reed and Barton, that would be the end of the Reed and Barton chess, which are, as I have said in previous talks, the best that money can buy. And also, there's the Hagerty products that Reed and Barton had. I was quite sure that Lifetime Brands would continue that, but you could never be sure, and now I'm pretty sure. On a similar note, I got an interesting phone call recently. It was the foreman who used to run the Reed and Barton chest making plant in the United States. And I had said that the Reed and Barton chests were basically identical to the ones made in America. It was too bad that they closed the plant chest in America, but the quality from coming from China was nice. He said that, yes, they look the same to the untrained, which I guess I am. Actually, the American ones were made of solid American hardwoods, and the others are like packed paper and sawdust. So, as I say, they look good, but I was assured that the quality of the Chinese chess that Reed and Barton is making are not up to the quality that they used to be made.